Information, before the video starts. Actually, today should come a small documentary about the topic black holes and the most interesting theories about it. Don't worry, the video is just postponing until Saturday. There is news about the giant star Betelgeuse. Will we see supernova soon now? And what impact would such a supernova have on Earth? There are exciting new findings there as well, you definitely don't want to miss this, so stay tuned until the end and if you like it, I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the algorithm to display this important topic to even more people. Thanks a lot guys and welcome. The giant star Betelgeuse has been keeping us in suspense for a long time now. This red supergiant in the constellation Orion is truly an extraordinary star that has shown unusual changes in its brightness in recent years, raising the question of whether it may be on the verge of exploding as a supernova, or whether that will be visible to us soon. Because as I'm sure you know, we don't see anything live in space, we always see things as they looked when their light made its way to us. So some of the stars in the night sky may not even be there anymore, we're surrounded by star spirits. Can I tell you a secret? Sure, man. I see dead people. The latest stellar whodunit surrounding Betelgeuse began in the winter of 2019, when it suddenly grew dimmer. Astronomers and even laymen watched in amazement as the brightness rapidly diminished. This then led to excited speculation as to whether this could be the first sign of a supernova, a massive explosion of a massive star that would be seen in the sky as an extremely bright phenomenon. Betelgeuse's brightness then returned to normal, and recently it even increased massively, reaching 140% of its normal magnitude. So speculation is again running high and I had discussed the basic facts in another video a few weeks ago. If this is the first time you've heard of Betelgeuse today, I recommend you give this video a click here. Today we'll look at what such a supernova would look like from Earth and how dangerous it could be. In this simulation here, you can see how it would appear from Earth when the light from the supernova reaches us. Researchers have calculated that it will shine as brightly as the full moon and would be clearly visible for several weeks. Such a supernova would release gigantic amounts of energy and hurl violent UV, X-ray, and gamma rays into space, and it's enough to make you wonder nervously. Would that be a danger to us? And there's now a super new exciting study that has investigated just that. Previous research focused mainly on the short-term effects of ionizing photons and high-energy cosmic rays arriving at planets after a supernova explosion. But the new study turns the spotlight on something else, the persistent X-ray emissions that occur in certain supernovae when they interact with a dense surrounding medium and can be observed months or even years after the explosion. Researchers have studied 31 supernovae by analyzing data from X-ray telescopes, such as Chandra. And the results are mildly disturbing. They found that supernovae that emit intense X-rays can pose a significant threat to Earth-like planets. This X-ray radiation can destroy ozone in the atmosphere, which is bad because this ozone protects life on a planet from dangerous ultraviolet radiation. I once animated such an X-ray supernova here with an AI tool. So, I would say, new existence fear unlocked, a hole in the ozone layer torn into the atmosphere from space by high-energy supernova radiation. Would fit somehow after all the events of the last years also still well into the picture. And the researchers describe it pretty drastically in the new study. Long-term exposure of an Earth-like planet to this high-energy radiation could lead to mass extinction of organisms especially marine organisms that are at the top of the food chain. The effects could be so severe as to alter the fundamental structure of ecosystems. Who knows how many alien worlds have been stopped in their evolution by an exploding star. Of particular concern are supernovae that show signs of strong interaction with their surroundings, example, cosmic gas nebulae. These supernovae, in fact, have a much longer range than previously thought and can potentially threaten planets up to 160 light years away. And with this knowledge, we can now turn back to Betelgeuse. How far away is it? And, based on the results of this study, could it wreak havoc on Earth's atmosphere? Here's where it gets a little mean. 
because in fact, no one knows exactly how far away Betelgeuse is. Estimates range from about 700 light years to just under 400 light years. So already a significant uncertainty in the calculation, but either way it would be too far away to endanger us. If these calculations are correct, I hope the astronomers have not so much leeway in the result, as I had in my math exams in school. Mathematics really messed up my grade point average. So for the time being no apocalypse by Betelgeuse. But interestingly, the study also raises the question of whether supernovae could have influenced life on Earth in the past. Indeed, there is evidence that supernovae may have occurred nearby in Earth's geologic history. Indeed, our solar system is located in the local bubble. A region of the Milky Way that is the result of numerous nearby supernovae. So, since we live in the middle of this area that was squeezed together by stellar explosions in the past, it kind of suggests that one or more supernovae in the past may have affected life on Earth. In other words, without exploding stars, we wouldn't all be here right now, and I wouldn't be able to run this lovely YouTube channel. So it's actually time for a thank you, write all of you in the comments, thank you supernova with it we show us the cosmos certainly in due measure appreciative. And apropos thank you, I thank you all for subscribing so diligently to the channel. The 10,000 subscribers are now really within reach. If any of you are watching and haven't subscribed yet, I would be galactically happy if you do so now. This is absolutely free helps me immensely and you will not miss any more galactic videos. Let's move on to another exciting survey in our cosmos. James Webb has taken pictures of galaxies that we didn't expect to see like this. They formed much faster after the calculated Big Bang event than we previously thought. Does this mean that the entire Big Bang theory may be in doubt? Everything there is in the video shown, be sure to check it out, it's really, really exciting. And if you want to support my work and be optimally prepared for Christmas, by all means visit the Astro Shop and get real meteorites and plush planets. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.